man, I really wish I knew how to say I am dancing or I am running or I am eating in Spanish. Aha! That is called the present progressive Spanish tense. Ah, who are you? I'm Lucy, the present progressive Spanish fairy, and I'm going to teach you how to use and conjugate the present progressive tense. So you think you could really teach me how to use the present progressive tense? Indeed I can. First off, you need to conjugate a star in the correct tense. So for example, yo would be estoy and ellos would be están. Got it? Yeah, I think I understand so far. Great! Now that you are starting to understand, we are going to add an infinitive verb to this sentence. Let's use caminar. Since it ends in AR, the ending becomes ando. So you subtract the AR from caminar and add ando. So it'd be caminando. I get it! Now, can you give me an example of an ER and an IR verb? Why, of course. An example would be vivir. With an ER or an IR, you subtract the ER and IR and add on yendo. So, for example, vivir would become viviendo. Whoa, that is so cool. Are there any weird verbs that I should know about? Well, actually, leer, to read, is pretty weird in the present progressive. So instead of saying leyendo, which would take a while, you take off the ER and add on yendo, Y-E-N-D-O. So it becomes leyendo. Under do you understand? Why, yes, I am starting to understand it. So, if I wanted to say, you are running to the supermarket, I would say, estás corriendo al supermercado. Yes, good job. You really are starting to understand. Now, let's practice one more time. Okay, this time I'm going to do an AR verb. I'm going to use cantar and say, y'all sing. So, I think that would be, Estáis cantando? Why? You really are starting to understand it. You're doing such a fantastic job. Now, remember, if any of your friends ever need help with the present progressive tense in Spanish, just give me a buzz and make sure you do well in Spanish. I guess the present progressive tense's fairy's job is done. Peace out!